In this training, I will give you an overview of the key RI register tab in Risk Manageable Template Software. The key RI register tab is available from the Home tab under the Dynamics section. In the key RI register tab, you can record information related to key risk indicators. Key RIs or key risk indicators are used to monitor risk exposures over time in view to give an early warning of possible degradation or of potential risk occurrence. Therefore, working with key RIs means using specific measures related to some thresholds with an analysis of volatility and trending. In the Options tab under the Modules Management section, you can choose to show or hide the key RI module. Also, the key RI register tab is paired with the key RI parameters tab for the customization of drop down lists and for the color coding of items in these lists. In the key RI register tab, the validity status of each record and the overall register is available on the leftmost column. The key RI register tab is an extension of the risk register tab. Therefore, the first few columns of the key RI register tab are information extracted from the risk register tab. Those columns are grayed because any input or change in these columns can only occur in the risk register tab. The column Use Info in this tab enables you for each risk ID to choose if you want to use or not to use the features available in this key RI register tab. The section Key RI Custom Lists is where you select an item in each Key RI Custom List which is activated. For more information on the Options tab, on the Key RI Parameters tab, on Validity Status in Registers, on the column Use of Info in this tab, and on the Use of Custom Lists, please refer to the relevant training. The section Key RI Description is where you record an outline for the Key RI. The column Possible Risk Events is automatically extracted from the Risk Register tab. This is useful information for defining the key RI. The other columns are available for recording the key RI description with a brief rationale and for selecting if the key RI is a leading or lagging type of key RI. The section Key RI Scrutiny is where you record what will have to be scrutinized for the key RI. The column Key Performance Indicator is automatically extracted from the Objective Register tab for the objective at risk. This is useful information since there is indeed a link between Key Performance Indicators and Key Risk Indicators. The other columns are available for recording the measure required for this key RI with the thresholds to monitor closely and the known or expected volatility of the key RI where you select one of the five levels from very low to very high volatility. The section Risk Zone and Gap is automatically extracted from the Risk Register tab. These columns give you the latest risk zones and gap status for the risk IDs. Actually, the gap to control is automatically calculated in the Risk Register tab. This gap represents what needs to be addressed to reach the acceptable level of risk. This is the difference between the current or residual risk level and the acceptable risk level. The following sections are those that you update regularly. The section Key RI Status and Trending is where you record the latest status of the key RI. You record the latest measure and you select one of the five items with regard to how this latest measure compares with the threshold set in the section Key RI Scrutiny. When taking into account the current key RI status, you select one of the seven possible overall trends for the key RI, from a good trend to a bad trend. The section key RI response is where you record information with regard to the response to undertake to address the key RI with its owner and the target date. The section key RI review is where you record the key information related to the regular follow-up of the key risk indicator the date of last review, the reviewer's name, the frequency of review, and the date for the next review. Finally, the section Key RI Notes is where you type any notes you may want to add. Et voilà! For more information, please visit managinable.com. Thank you!